Hey guys, this is Chad with uh, round two. So we're back for another new at round two product update. This is for May 2019. So uh, we have a bunch of stuff for you guys this month. We've got six new model kits in uh, sci-fi and automotive. We've got a new Auto World uh, premium release, a new Auto World select release, new Johnny Lightning boats release, uh, Johnny Lightning dioramas, and Johnny Lightning two packs, as well as four 118 scale Auto World cars and a new slot car set and a new slot car release. So a ton of stuff to get through. We're gonna jump in and uh, start with 164th. All right, so first off for 164th, we're gonna start and show you guys the Auto World stuff. So this is the newest uh, release for Auto World Premium 2019 release one. So this is six, uh, six cars, two colors. First in the release is this 1967 Cadillac Eldorado. You can see version A here in gray with this great looking maroon interior and version B is in gold with a black vinyl top and black interior next for that release here is the uh, next release for our newer tool the 1976 Buick estate wagon so we've got a couple uh, versions here this first one is in brown with the wood paneling on the side of it second version is in light blue with the wood paneling another great looking car for that one third in the release here this is the 2012 Ford Mustang Boss 302 so version A for this is in this great looking dark blue color with the white roof and the white uh, boss stripes on the side of it the other version is an orange with the white roof and the white uh, boss stripes as well and then next we've got another newer casting for us the 1962 Chevy Impala SS this is the hardtop variation so the first version here is in tuxedo black with that red interior, really makes it pop. And the uh, second version here in this awesome looking green color, I believe it's called Laurel Green. And next up in the release, the 1968 Chevy Impala SS. First color here is in blue with a black vinyl top for the A variation. and tuxedo black in this car as well with black interior blacked out wheels with the chrome dog dish on them just really cool looking and then lastly in that premium release the 1963 Dodge Polara 500 max wedge so the first version here we have in this great great looking uh, colors that ivory and second in this light blue the awesome looking white interior for that next up for auto world we do have our auto world select release so these are our nhra uh top fuel dragster cars so first one here is the uh terry mcmillan car amelie motor oil awesome looking graphics on that with the crocodile and we also have the antron brown tools for the cause the uh, matco tools car that black and pink and lastly, the Leah Pritchett 1320 car, black and yellow with that awesome B on the side of it. Next up, we'll jump into Johnny Lightning, which we have a new release for Johnny Lightning for our boat series. So uh, instead of doing the Gone Fishing, we have kind of a new series here that's called uh, Hulls and Haulers. So first off in that, the uh, 1950 Chevy Suburban with this new boat, the uh, wooden speedster boat here. And you can see the uh, second variation there in red. Second in this release, the 1959 Chevy El Camino with the wooden barrel back boat. Another new one for us. So version A here. And version B. And lastly, the 1965 uh, Ford Ranchero with the vintage fishing boat. So here it is in light blue with the matching light blue vintage fishing boat for that one. And the second variation here in tan. The matching boat for that as well. Then next for Johnny Lightning also, we have new two packs. So the first two pack, this is a really cool one, is the Willie's Gasser. There's the 1941 Willie's Coupe here. For that first variation and the 1933 Willys pickup as well. 
And also for the two-pack release, we have a new pack for the uh, class of 1969 cars. So the 1969 Dodge Coronet convertible in blue, top down, black interior, and the 69 Nova SS 396. And lastly, for 164th, these are super cool looking. These are for the uh, new diorama series, Johnny Lightning dioramas. First one here is the Golf Diorama for the 1959 Ford F-250 tow truck. So you can see all the towing uh, winch and everything in the back of it. And the diorama with that awesome looking garage display piece to set it in. And the second version is the 1965 Chevy pickup, the Texaco version. And the diorama for that is the old school Texaco gas pumps. So those should be great looking for uh, your guys' collections display your cars. So that's everything for 164th. We'll jump in and show you 118 next. Alright, so for 118, the first one we got to show you, this is a new one for us. This is the uh, 1968 Chevy C10 pickup. So this is a really cool looking uh, uh, truck here. We did it in gold with the white top, white interior as well. Um, this comes with it's a limited edition, one of a thousand and two made. Uh, it has a detailed engine, um, steerable front wheels, the doors and the hood open as well. Uh, interior's detailed, chassis's detailed, and it's just a great looking one. Should be very popular. Those uh, those C10s are super popular right now. And next up, this is uh, next in our class of 1969 release. This is the 1969 and a half Dodge Coronet Super B. So we did actually two variations for this one this is a limited edition one of 702 and this has the black vinyl top black hood black interior uh, red line tires black steely wheels and as usual opening doors and hood steerable front wheels and all that good stuff but we also did another uh, variation for it here without the vinyl top this is the hard top version um, same car same color but we only did 300 of these in the run so that'll be a rare one to collect and just super cool for you guys that are more into the hard top and not the vinyl top as much. Both great looking cars. Both should uh, be really popular. So we're excited about those. And next we've got a couple cars for uh, our MC ACN releases, the Muscle Car and Corvette National. So first car in this is the 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge. Great looking light blue with all the GTO striping on it. It's got the... Uh, White, white oval uh, white letter tires on it blue interior just an awesome looking car this is also a limited edition one of a thousand and two with the uh, opening doors and hood detailed engine steerable front wheels and as all of our uh, muscle car and corvette national cars these are based on actual cars at the muscle car and corvette national show so if you guys have not made it out to see the shows yet obviously there are tons of great cars there it's really worth going to uh, and then lastly for 118, this is also a muscle car and Corvette national car, the 1969 Yanko Chevy Nova. So what's cool about this, it's all blacked out, got all the Yanko package stuff on it, the blacked out wheels with the uh, chrome hubcaps there, black vinyl top, black interior, just an angry looking car. And uh, as with all of our MCACN, you can also see the car here on the back, the uh, actual car that it's based on. So that is everything we've got for 118. Next we'll jump in and show you guys the slot cars. All right, so for slot cars, we've got a uh, new release for you guys. These are the latest for our Legends of the Quarter Mile release, um, the available cars. So the first car here is the uh, Mickey Thompson Racing U.S. Marines car, the 1974 Pontiac Grand Am funny car. These are all on our uh, four-gear chassis. That drag racing chassis comes with a lot of our uh, drag racing kits. Second is the uh, Don Garlett 1971 Dodge Charger funny car. So there's the uh, black Don Gar Garlett car there with those cool graphics on the top. Third in the release, the uh, Cha Cha Muldowney 1972 Ford Mustang funny car. Great looking paint job on that one, the orange and red. And lastly, available separate, is the uh, Army 1973 Plymouth Cuda, the uh, Don Prudhomme Army car, Snake Army car. So. Those should all be popular. Great four-gear cars. Great to put on any of our uh, drag sets or really any Auto World set. And next, we have a uh, new slot set for you guys as well. So this is the latest. This is our uh, off-road set. So this comes with the uh, two Baja Racer cars in it. The set is the uh, 
washed out dirt sets with the Baja Bash intersection. We got the washed out bridge jump. Uh, comes with a power pack, the two high performance controllers. And of course the great looking Baja cars with the lights on top. You got the gas tanks on the side. Super cool looking, dirty paint on, on one. And the uh, cleaner paint on the other. And what's cool about this set, it's a little bit different than uh, than your normal slot car set, and it goes really well with some of our other off-road cars that we've uh, we've had. So we've recently put out the release with the Hummer H2, the Baja Bronco, Jeep CJ5, and just a, a lot of cool stuff and something a little different for you slot car guys. So we're excited about that release. Next, we're going to jump in and show you guys all the model kits. All right, so first off for model kits, we're going to start with all the uh, sci-fi stuff. So here's a... Uh, really big one no pun intended this is our 16 inch Godzilla kit that's coming back so this is a super cool figural kit um, from polar lights this is uh, actually in celebration of 65 years of Godzilla plus the new movie coming out today so the kit builds out uh, pretty tall and we'll actually we'll be putting some more posts and some more information about the kit coming up throughout the months so this uh, as always it comes uh, as before, it's the same 16-inch kit. It's got a big diorama base and the full color background, and we did do the back of the box uh, here. So you have the box art to use in a diorama once you build the, the Godzilla kit up. So we're very excited to see uh, you guys build this kit up, what happens with it, all the cool new stuff with the new movie coming out. But we didn't stop there with Godzilla either. So we've got another kit coming out here. This is the MPC Godzilla Planetary Defense Vehicle the uh, Willys military jeep and so this uh, Willys jeep was actually based on the version uh, seen in Invasion of the Astro Monster so it comes with some cool uh, some pretty cool uh, features here so you get the uh, you get the jeep you can build it as the military version from the uh, movie or you can build the uh, other version as well and we did include a uh, a backdrop full color backdrop with Godzilla on it that's uh, about 10 inches tall it's got all the different military weapons you could build it with uh, with the Godzilla kit but if not you got the backdrop there too and there's a uh, some cool uh, scenes from the the classic Godzilla movie and you can see the uh, the Jeep in there also and there's a look at the uh, at the parts tree for you guys so you can see what's uh, what's available on that kit so we're really excited about all that Godzilla stuff and also next in sci-fi we got something uh, really goofy for you guys we did a uh, Put this up on April Fools on our Facebook, and uh, you guys loved it. weren't sure if we were joking. Well, we weren't joking. This is really coming out. This is our Plan Nine from Outer Space kit. So for you sci-fi guys that are into the uh, horrible B movies, uh, we actually had a viewing for this uh, here at work, and it's great for those of you who haven't seen it. But this is actually uh, when the movie was shot, the Plan Nine from Outer Space. They used an old tool, an old flying saucer tool. Um, to shoot the uh, to shoot the movie itself so you can see in some of the uh, screenshots from the movie here it was actually just made with a flying saucer kit sitting on fishing line and so super cool super corny we thought it'd be a lot of fun to bring it back out so you can see some of the things you get here uh, you can leave the dome clear if you'd like to paint alien invaders on the inside of it uh, or paint it over chrome like they had in the movie there's optional uh, rocket propulsion engines, electrode guns, lots of cool stuff for that kit. So we're actually really excited about this one coming out, and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So next we'll jump in and we'll show you guys uh, what we got for automotive. So a big kit in automotive also. This is the uh, 1 16th scale uh, 55 Chevy Bel Air convertible. So some of the cool stuff in this kit. It is a 2-in-1 kit. You can build it stock or you can build it custom. Uh, we've expanded the decal sheet from the last releases of this. Uh, included white wall tires and kept that vintage style packaging for you guys. And there's a look here where you can see the, uh, the all new decal sheets for some of the custom stuff. And it includes uh, lots, of, lots of cool stuff. The 265 incher 162 horsepower motor. And uh, here's a look at the parts tree for you guys too. So you can see some of those optional parts available on that one as well and next up in automotive kits we also have the 77 Ford Pinto so this should be a fun one uh, this is the retro deluxe kit it has not been available since 1977 this kit has not been out since that Pinto was new so uh, we're excited to see what you guys do with this we did all new decal artwork for this kept that vintage style packaging look 
uh, for that one also. And you can see some of the uh, some of the options here as well. For the all new decals, we've got a bunch of cool little business uh, things to put on there. And it goes great with the, uh, the cruising van and some of the other uh, 70s style kits that we have. So there's a look also at the parts tree on that kit. And then lastly for model kits, we've got one more for you guys. This is next in our Coca-Cola series. This is the 53 Ford uh, F100 pickup truck. So what's cool about this kit, we did a uh, similar Chevy truck that also includes it, but we'd have a die cast vending machine and a dolly that comes with this to uh, make a really cool vintage Coca-Cola style diorama. So you can see some of the options available this kit as well. There's the uh, pos positional fold down tailgate. We got two different uh, tires, the wide white wall tires and the custom wheel caps. Uh, there's stock and custom engines included for the kit also. And a look at the uh, the vending machine and some of that really, uh, just really neat stuff on that kit. And lastly, there's a look at the parts tree for you guys on that one also. So that's everything we've got coming for May. Lots of stuff for you guys. There's lots of stuff coming. Uh, we're really excited about it. So again, follow us on our Facebook pages. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let us know the kind of stuff you want to see. And thanks again, guys. We'll see you in June.